Hello everybody and welcome to the RV Atlas. I'm Jeremy. I'm Stephanie. And we're the co-hosts of the RV Atlas podcast, which comes out Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, wherever you get your podcasts. We're also the bloggers at the RVAtlas.com and we're the authors of See You at the Campground, <laughs> our brand new book, which has tons of great information for And pictures. And pictures and illustrations. <laughs> Do you like pictures great better the, than words? <laughs> great for the RV newbie or the yes. RV expert. Something for everyone. And today's show we want to talk about RV show shopping. So we want to give you 10 quick tips for RV show shopping so that you walk into an RV show and you just have it mastered and you don't make yeah. any really bad mistakes. <laughs> As opposed to like sitting on a curb wondering how you just bought an RV right. <laughs> at the end of right. the day and Serious not really owners sure what happened. But to break it down first, <laughs> there are different types of RV shows and we think it's worth kind of discussing them mm -hmm. really, really quickly. So there's really small shows that are borderline just run by maybe one dealership where they like rent out the local They're minor like league baseball stadium. shows. There was one it's, around here last week. It is. It's weekend. like a pretend RV yeah. show. It's really just a dealer bringing all their stuff outside to yeah. a, a venue. Then there's regional shows, which are probably five to ten dealers, people coming from all over like the eastern half of a state or the southern part of a state. And then there's national shows, and there's not that Mega. many of them, yeah. but the Hershey RV show in Pennsylvania in the fall is a national RV show. People actually travel from all over the country to come to Hershey. The Florida Super Show. The Florida RV Super Show in Tampa in mm -hmm. January. People literally travel from all over the country to go to that show. And then Pomona in and California Pomona. is the other really and, big mega RV show. And to some degree or another at one of these national shows, you can almost see every RV yes. that is being manufactured, except maybe for like some very niche products like But you get a glass. huge range. So if you're yeah. in those introductory stages, these super shows are great for you because you can really get a view of you gotta, all of your options. At some time in life, you got to go to the Florida RV Super Show or the Hershey Show. Yeah, most of you are going to go to these more regional shows, like a Good Sam show. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to give you 10 quick quick tips to really get the most out of it. All right, so you number need one. number one, you need to do a little reconnaissance beforehand, meaning you need to look at a map of the show and see where different things are, where different manufacturers are, so that you kind of know where you're going before you show up. Yeah, and you also want to look at, I know this sounds crazy, their ticket policies, their parking policies. I can't tell you how many of these RV shows are cash only, and people show up and they're so aggravated. They also still put coupons online. I I know you say in this day and age, but they do. Okay, so a lot of these RV They're shows will like, put like three dollars off, one dollar off, <laughs> and you have to print out the coupon and bring it. Okay, so just go to the website, see what the deal is, get the lay of the land before you show and up. And that matter. The bigger the show is, the more that matters. If you're, they going might have to, an app for you to download on your phone. Hershey you can does, find right? that out, and you can but put it on your phone. But if you're going to like a local yokel show, I don't think that matters as no. much. But if you're going to Hershey and you don't do some reconnaissance and have a game plan. You're going to be like exhausted, dehydrated, and sad. Yeah. Okay. So number two, our second tip is we really want you to try to attend the show on the quietest day possible. Now, a lot of RV shows are Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So go Friday. So if you, if you have any work flexibility, Friday early on is quiet. We speak and we do seminars at a lot of RV shows and we can attest to this. And then on the flip side, Sunday is also can be really quiet, especially later in the day. Now we know that you're not all unemployed. So Friday, <laughs> but Friday Saturday, might not be an option can be bonkers mm -hmm. at RV shows. It's family day, especially if it's raining, everyone's like, let's go to the and, RV show and inside. And what happens <laughs> is like, you might want to really look at a rig and spend some time in it and there could be 10 people in it. Yeah, and it can feel crowded and overwhelming. So if you're seriously shopping, if you're not just like kicking tires, right? if you're kicking tires, go any day, walk around. If you're really trying to make hard decisions, try to avoid I mean, those busy Hershey, days. Hershey, for instance, if you could go on Wednesday, say, Wednesday, Wednesday's in, dead is quiet dead at Hershey. As opposed to Saturday, which is bonkers. Okay, yeah. tip number three. Bring a lot of water. You're going to walk a lot. You could get dehydrated. And Bring snacks, gummy bears. They sell the water for so much money at $5. these RV shows. It's like they give you a dollar off coupon to come and they charge you $5 for water. And then you're buying water. $5 bottles of water all day long, okay? You're also going to want to look at the food options because really... Because there probably won't be food options. Some RV shows are really great. They'll have food trucks, they'll have barbecue, and then Stephanie, other ones are... most RV shows you're talking. I said Hot some. dogs, 
pretzels. Most you're gonna get those like um stadium, basketball games. Stadium Franks. Yeah, and like dry hot pretzels. So we even tell people maybe pack a lunch or mm -hmm. bring some subs because you could almost always bring your own food. Yeah, in. yeah, they're not. So yeah, they're not patting you down. Don't just you rely on the RV show food. And the water thing is really, really important. Okay? Absolutely. Number four. Agree to a shopping plan. If you're going with a spouse or you're going with a loved one or a partner, like what is the strategy? What manufacturers are we looking at? Um, you can't just go in every single rig. You'll burn out. Right. So sometimes we hear from couples, you know, one person has this really solid game plan. The other person was like, oh, well, I just want to talk around and look at um, the really fancy Class A's and see well, the really small Well, meanwhile, you're not shopping ones. for a Class A. Right. You're shopping for a hybrid and you waste an hour doing that. Yeah. And I would have a communication because if one person is really like, I'm going to see these five rigs that we are actually interested in. And the other person is like, well, I also wanted to look at some other things. Talk about that ahead of time. We always communicate. It may so sound fairly. crazy, but we've seen this cause marital discord. I'm oh, just oh, telling you. The number of marital <laughs> fights at an RV us. show. There's like marital counseling and <laughs> counseling at some of the bigger shows off in the corner now. All right. Number five. This is probably the most important tip in the show. You need a system for recording information, which for us is our cell phone. So if we go into a rig that we're actually interested in purchasing, I'm going to take a bunch of pictures of it. I'm going to take a picture out front of the model. Okay, so in Jayco, the right order. No Jayco order. Whitehawk 29 yeah. SQB. I'm going to take a picture of the yellow sticker, which has the dry weight of the RV and the GVWR of the RV. That's an important sticker to have too, so you can take notes later and check it with your truck. I'm also going to take some pictures of the interior. And maybe most importantly, take a picture of the show price of that rig. So you have it to bargain later, to refer to that price later. Because if they're selling it for that price at the show, it's pretty much a good chance they can sell it to you for that price at a later time. But if you walk out of there and you forget what the show price is, you're just, you've lost yeah. a pivotal piece of information. You have to understand when you're at the RV show, at the time, it feels like, oh, I'll know that I loved this rig and that I loved this about it or that. And I knew that it was under 10,000 pounds. You, by the end of the day, you will be like arguing about which rig was which and what you wanted and which one you liked. It can be very Which is confusing. why you say take the pictures in the right order. I want you to decide. I'm going to take a picture of the number of the rig first, then the sticker, then the interior shots, because then you know the next number is your next RV. Right. So it helps you keep your camera roll, you know, organized. Tip number six. Also an RV Atlas pro tip. We've been giving this tip for years. Helped a lot of people talk to the right and people. The bigger yeah. the show, the more likely it is you can do this. Look for the manufacturer's reps. Don't talk to the salespeople from the local dealership. Find the person with the Winnebago shirt on. Right. Not the dealership shirt. Find the person with the Jayco or Airstream shirt on because they're there from the manufacturer from Elkhart, Indiana, or wherever they are, and they're really not there to pressure you into buying something. They're there as support, and they're there to answer questions, and these are the people that design the RVs. Yeah. These they are often the, they're so often, much more. So, uh, they're, not, they're not marketing people. They're right. the product managers. So a sales rep from the dealership, an actual salesman, they will ha maybe sell... 40 RVs at their dealership. So they might not know all of the particulars about the one you're looking at. The manufacturer's reps, they know these so, rigs inside and out. So absolutely, to clarify, like a salesperson might be selling Winnebago, Jayco, Airstream, mm -hmm. Keystone, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. The manufacturer's rep are going to be working specifically with one brand. Yeah. Even within Jayco or even within Winnebago, they're just going to be like the product designer for Eagle or the product designer for the Mini Winnie. And they know they're what they're so talking about. They're so knowledgeable. Seek them out. And most people are not seeking them out because they don't even know they're yeah. there. All now, right? number seven is don't get rushed into an impulse purchase. And that can be helped by avoiding the sales people I mean, the as sales well. The person <laughs> wants to sell you the rig. The they call them rep. show dogs. These, yeah. uh, these, these sales people that actually come in to sell RVs at RV And they're going to tell you they're that that's people. the only time you'll ever be able to get that price. Yeah. And there's maybe a tiny shred of truth to that. But generally speaking, you can usually get close to those prices, those RV show prices. Sometimes there, I do want to say, sometimes there is some truth to that because the manufacturers off, offer discounts yeah. and rebates. Rebates. Bonuses, bonuses for to sales. the dealers yes. for sale. So sometimes you can get a better show price, but they can always get close later. Yeah, absolutely. All right, number eight. 
check out a dealer's online reviews and their service this center. This is huge. We got to So this, yeah. here's the thing. You're at the show. You want to buy from this show price from this dealer. You need to make an informed choice. You need to go online and do a little due diligence about your dealer that you're about to buy from. We truly believe in our heart of hearts that the dealer you buy from is as important, if not more, as the RV that you actually buy. Now, a tip from Mark Polk from RV Education 101. This is a great tip. If you go to the show on a Friday or a Saturday morning and you're seriously considering purchasing an RV, the dealership is probably somewhat close by. Yeah. Okay? It might be a couple hours. He recommends actually the next day driving out to the dealership. Do they have a fully staffed service center? They have a big service Do they center, have yeah. a lot of bays to do warranty mm -hmm. work? Do they have a fully stocked parts store? These are all things you cannot tell when you're at, at an, an RV, RV show. show. You don't at know. the RV show, they may look like the greatest dealer in the world, but then a week later when you show up at their dealership, you're like, oh my God, they don't even have a service center. So it might be worth that crazy extra trip in the middle of an RV yeah. show weekend this to go visit purchase, the dealership. Folks. Yeah, could tap the brakes and do your research. Thanks, Mark Polk. Now, number nine. Don't be embarrassed to check out the entire rig. Now at these RV shows with so many people around, you may feel uncomfortable standing in the shower, sitting on the toilet, laying in bed. If it's and an airstream, you're not I recommend to... staying fully clothed doing all of these things, but you have to do it. Except you... if it's an airstream. They say no, you they can't say lie they, on the they, bed. they have a sign that says yeah. don't lie on the bed. It's an airstream. But no, right? you, you're so right. Come you on. have to spend some time in it. You might not, honestly, I'm gonna be straight with you guys. You might sit on that toilet and realize, not for me because I'm short, but for taller people, they might realize their knees don't fit and they're incredibly uncomfortable and that's going to drive you crazy after you make the purchase. The first travel trailer we bought, I didn't sit on the toilet. Then for years it <laughs> Why drove me crazy that examples? my knees were banging into the complain. door. I exactly, because he Number never 10, tried that tip out. Number <laughs> 10, our last tip, and this is really important to us because we give the seminars at RV shows for Good Sam RV shows and for RV shows all over the country, attend the seminars. They don't cost anything extra. They're included in the price of your nice RV break. show ticket. Get off your feet. It's a lot of people do it Take to relax. Take a deep breath. They have, have a their, drink. They have their lunch in front of us. The best RV shows have beer. Get a beer. The Colorado <laughs> RV shows. Sit and watch a seminar. <laughs> Lots of beer at a Colorado <laughs> RV show. But a lot of the time, these educational seminars, like people like us, we come in and we are giving you unbiased RV advice, right? We're not trying to sell you an RV. We're telling you just a lot of tips and tricks to make the RV purchase more enjoyable. You can get a wealth of information going to one or two from seminars. From people like us. From people like us. So don't <laughs> skip the seminars, yeah. for goodness sake. Yeah. And we also want them to keep hiring us, so people have to show yeah. up. Yeah, so show up and fill our seats. All right, everybody. Those are our 10 quick tips for visiting an RV show and getting the most out of an RV show. If you liked this video, please throw us a like. We would really appreciate it. Subscribe to our channel if you've been in enjoying these short shows. And also add any of your if own you RV show tips in the yeah, comments add below your own if, tips. You have if you them. have any questions, we will answer your questions. I'm Jeremy. I'm Stephanie. You can hear us every week over on the RV Atlas podcast. You can also check us out at thervatlas.com and at Jeremy and Stephanie over on Instagram. At Jeremy and Stephanie. You can order and this. You can order our books. books. See you at the read, campground. See you at the campground. People still read books. And everybody, we will see you at the campground. Fun Bye. <laughs> see you later. See you at the campground. <laughs>